Hey, I'm Harold. Well, today there's a lot of excitement in the kitchen because today's the day we're going to be making caramel popcorn. Growing up, my mom only made caramel popcorn during the holidays, usually between Thanksgiving and Christmas. But ever since I learned how to make it on my own, I make it as often as I can. Caramel is indeed one of my favorite substances in the world, and what better way than to have it on popcorn? So, let's get started with our caramel sauce that will be going onto our popcorn, which we will then bake in the oven for an hour. So let's get started. First of all, we want to light our stove, of course. We're going to add one stick of salted butter. And we want to go ahead and let that melt. Okay, once the butter's melted, you want to go ahead and add a half a cup of light corn syrup. To that you want to add one and a quarter cups of light brown sugar. Stir to combine everything and bring to a boil on a medium high heat. Okay, once our mixture comes to a boil you want to turn your flame down just a little bit to about a medium heat, just below medium high. Stirring constantly, time it for exactly five minutes. I know it may seem strange to some of you that I'm not using a candy thermometer, but I've been making this recipe for almost 20 years and I've never had it not come out and I've never used a candy thermometer. It just works perfectly every time. All right, our caramel has been cooking for exactly five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn the fire off. You can see that it's become a little more fluffy, I guess, now that it's been cooking. So to that, we want to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We also want to add a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Whip it for just a moment. See it start to get a little bit lighter in color because of the baking soda. Okay, once everything is fully combined, we can go ahead and pour it into our popcorn, onto our popcorn. And we kind of want to go ahead and give this a stir. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So now what we want to do is take our popcorn mixture put it into a 250 degree oven and we're going to bake it for an hour. What we're also going to do is take it out of the oven every 15 minutes and give it a stir. That way the caramel will coat each of the popcorn kernels uniformly. Alright, it's been 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and take our popcorn out and give it a stir. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and give it a stir. Get some more of that popcorn coated with the caramel. All right, it's looking great. We're going to put it in for another 15 minutes and we'll give it another stir. Hey again. So, my caramel popcorn has been cooking in the oven for an hour. Like I said, I took it out every 15 minutes and stirred it just to make sure that all the popcorn kernels were coated. So, now I'm going to go ahead and give it one last final stir. And then I'm going to turn it out onto this table. One thing that I like to do while the caramel is still pliable is kind of chunk everything up so that the individual popcorn kernels can be separated. You don't have to separate every single kernel. I just like to uh, make sure that there's no huge chunks of caramel popcorn. Not that it affects the flavor at all. It's wonderful in there. Okay. Now what I'll do is go ahead and let that sit for about 15 minutes just to make sure that the caramel completely hardens at the, and then the, the popcorn and the caramel completely cools. 
All right, my corn has been cooling for about 15 minutes. It's all nice and hard and crispy. Let's go ahead and get a taste. Caramel popcorn has got to be my absolute most favorite thing in the world. Well, next time you have a party to go to, like for instance this weekend I have a birthday party that I need to go to, so I think I'm going to bring the guest of honor some caramel popcorn for her birthday. And when people ask, and they will, did you make that caramel popcorn yourself? You can say, yeah, I made that. Thank you.